Doing that. It's just sensing it to it so quick. Hello. Hello! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for returning or coming for the first time. Yeah, so as you might have just got from Josie's elite performance, we are going to talk about our splitting off gate today. So, I yeah. Been an actor. <laughs> and I should have been a director. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we're all about the splitting off gate. So we use the splitting off gate, which is just behind us here, um, pretty much every single day. To, well, we do use it every single day because when we're AIing, we split eye cows off automatically. When we're carving, we split cows off manually. So basically, if none of that made sense, that's our job today is to tell you all about Explain it. it. To you. Should we go? Let's go. <laughs> I bet you thought we'd run really far. Do you need the toilet? No. Are we, are you fine? <laughs> Do you need the toilet? No. Okay. Go. Okay, so the split off gate is literally what it says on the tin. It's there to split cows off. So the idea behind it is that we don't have to get involved with splitting cows off, even if we're doing it manually, like they wouldn't really know that it's us doing it. And the idea behind that is just so everything is as relaxed and calm as possible. They're not getting fiddled with, we're not winding them up. So when it comes to AI and things like that, it's really, really good for the cows. So this little box here is everything that controls the gate. So you can see here, it says auto and man. That is automatic and manual. So if we flip it to here, the gate will work by itself based on what information we've put on the computer. If we flick it to here, then it means anything we want done, we have to do it ourselves. Then you've got A and B. So the gate will open up in two directions. So if we want them to go to the left, we put it on A. If we want them to go to the right, uh, we put it on B and that's how the gate will open. And then these two are just to open the back gate or close the back gate. So Poppy's going to manually do the gates now. So she's going to open B. So that's B. That would send them in with Jenny, the JCB. And then she just opened A. So that's her doing it manually. So that's flicking the switches A and B. So the top button that we showed you where we said that's for the gate, that's this gate here which Poppy's going to shut. And basically what that does is it stops the cow behind the cow that's getting split off so that she doesn't also get split off. And then it'll open up again, just like that. So how it would essentially work is when this back gate shuts, do you want to do the two switches? How it would work is when the back gate shuts and they'd get split off. And as you can see, they won't be able to see any humans, no one around, because she's over there. So this is a heifer that at the moment doesn't have a collar. As you can see, she does have a bit of dermatitis on her foot, so she will be seeing the foot trimmer today. So because she has no collar, we are gonna have to split her off by hand. So off we go. So she's just entered now. So it's important I put it on manual, otherwise it just won't work. So that's the first thing I did. And I'm gonna open A. Open up the gate. And she's out. Oh, so you basically just switches. For all the games, all three games. Yeah. And it's so important then I put it straight back on auto because you might have caught the end there. The cow immediately behind her was one to go out, so then she was split off automatically then. Welcome back. 
the world's strongest woman. What, so you're just holding yourself up with your body, is that? <laughs> so here we are at our parlour. So this is where we lock the cars so I'm really up. <laughs> Here we are at our parlour. So this is where we milk the cows. So we have done a, oh, what am I doing? I've lost my hair. Right, start again, you ready? Yeah. So here we are at the parlour. This is where we milk the cows. So when they come into the parlour, if we then decide to split them off, they'll literally walk just from here. And ta-da, we've already made it to the splitting off gate. So that's how close it is to the parlour. This is ideal for if we ever want to um, give a cow some treatment or if we're foot trimming or if we want to put collars on. It's ideal because it's just so close to the parlour so they just do a tiny little walk and then they could get split off. Barney's now going to give you an example of getting split off. Oh about the splitting off gate is the cows cope with it really well but it is really important that once they come out of this gate they've got plenty of room to just keep walking down naturally they'll just keep going this way what we do there is obviously the option of this gate here that we will show you later where we use that sometimes but we make sure this whole space is really clear so they can walk all the way down here and then we have actually got that place which we call a hallway and they're able to so if we're like foot trim and we've got about 30 cows coming out they can all go down there and there's plenty of space so they're not distracting each other from getting split off and if they're carving we pre-open a pen so they can walk out and straight in the pan yeah we try and make Which, it all as smooth as possible she's carved this morning so that's exactly what she did baby 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 <laughs> At the moment, the gate is on automatic. The cows don't actually walk this fast. We've put it fast forward for effect. So now the cows are going to start getting split off. So this first cow that you're seeing being split off actually did have a little bit of a meltdown and decided she didn't want to go out through the gate. So the really good thing about the splitting gate is it will literally wait for the cow to leave before it opens back up. So it's got a sensor, so it will know when she's left the race and then it will carry on for the other cows. But she could literally stand here all day and the gate will literally wait for her. And as you can see, she's gone through. So today, the reason that we have got the gate on auto and all these cows are being split off is because we are foot trimming. So before this morning, we have put all of the cows' numbers that we want to have their feet done into the computer. Then we have put the gate on automatic and that's how it knows which cows we want to be split off. So the sensor will read their number, they'll know, okay, this cow's to be split and then the gate does its thing and splits them off and then they are ready to have their feet done. Another way the gate is used is for bulling cows, so a cow that's on heat. So it will actually detect a cow's heat through her collar. So if she's got high activity, the collar will pick this up and then the gate will automatically split that cow off and then she's ready to be AI'd. So Josie and Poppy can AI her because she's out, out to the left already. So the only way that this will work is if the gate is on auto. If the gate's on manual, then the cows won't be split off for high activity. So we do this when we don't want to AI. But when we are in the process of AI and we'll put the gate on auto, the gate will pick up if someone's got high activity, meaning that she's bullying. She'll get split off just like the cow is now. And then we can AI her successfully. I, our AI, gosh, that's really hard to say. Yeah. Our AI rates are so much higher because of the splitting off gate. Honestly, it's just been absolutely amazing for that because it just basically detects anyone that's bullying for us without us even having to worry about it. And it's 99% of the time accurate. Yeah, we will one day do a video purely on AI for anyone who's a bit like, what on earth are they talking about? 
But yeah, as far as the gate con is concerned, we literally couldn't ask for anything better. And even with today, when we're foot trimming, it just means we literally don't have to get involved. Like we've done the work, we've put the numbers into the computer and the gate just does its thing. So it's so chilled for the cows. They just go out at their own pace and we really don't have to bother them. And like we have already stated, they're coming through where they're walking now all of the time. So they go through the foot bath every single day, twice a day. They walk up that race. It's all just second nature to them now. So it's really important that we put them to food as it's going to be another three hours before the foot trimmer arrives. So we've shot a gate there, there and right down the bottom. So they've got beds to lie in and they've got a constant supply of food and there's a water tank by there. So we're going to be putting collars on, either they've lost them or they're heifers that have just come in, so we're going to put them back on. So to do this, we basically want them in and out straight away. So they've just been milked and we want them to go out to food with their friends, so we're going to do a really quick way of splitting them off where there's no hassle, collars on and straight back out, so we're going to show you what we do. So this works for anyone if they need to be like treated um, with injections or if the vet needs to have a quick look at them, this system can work for that, so it works really, really well. So the cows are going to walk out of there, which you'll see in a minute. The cows there, they're going to walk through the foot bath. And then instead of going straight on and out, they're going to be diverted. The splitting gate's there and they'll come up here. So I'm just going to set it up. <laughs> so now they can no longer go up there. If we were like foot trimming or something like that, like a big bulk, they'd all just go up there. But now I've opened this gate and they're going to come out and in. So that gate will basically stop them going straight down, so it encourages them then to go straight into the crash. They should walk down there straight into the crash. So as you will have seen earlier in the video, I did split the cow off manually. So that is what Joe's... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> when she's finished snacking. <laughs> She will split them off by hand because obviously they don't have a collar. Oh, sorry, I was trying to. So her collar's on, as you can see. So now she's literally going to be able to go straight back out to the herd. So she comes out the bottom, through the door, and she's back. No bother. About two weeks ago, we did do a video on putting collars on. So if you want to see how we did it, then just go check out our YouTubes. Um, yeah, in that YouTube, we ended up going down to the bottom right, but this is perfect just for doing one or two collars. Okay, you right, honey. We seem to have shut the door on you. <laughs> Poor Jamie. So this is just a, such an ideal way to access our cows really easily for any of their needs. So here is Lizzie about to go down the race. If Lizzie here, she's thinking about it, if she did decide to turn left instead of going down the race and came into the yard where we were stood, that would be absolutely fine. There's no way she can go. All we, that would happen then is we'd have to turn her around and put her back through the crash. And then it's straight into the crash and we use the yoke to catch their neck and then they're there for us to do whatever we need that's to do. That's a wrap, that's a wrap, that's a wrap, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap to the view to you, what? <laughs> so that is us done for another week. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. So thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end, we really, really appreciate that. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more from us. We post weekly, so we'll see you next week. See you Bye. next week.